most people who do this work feel like they'll never experience the weather in the same way again. Whether it's a particularly early spring, or unusually cold winter, or anything really. And it's like, no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you try, you're living in a parallel universe where some people see it, some people get it, and most of us don't. And there's this overwhelming sense of urgency now that we're approaching the Paris Conference, that we have to achieve a global deal, that there is really no other option. And there's that nagging voice inside your head that says, we're not going to be able to do that in time. But we're confronting such significant consequences already. And there's so much carbon ballooning into the atmosphere and, and there's so much political opposition. What we're looking at, the scale of projected displacement here is mind boggling. Hundreds of millions of eco-refugees, like Hurricane Katrina on every shoreline, everywhere. Drought, famine, massive vectoral spread of disease like malaria. Wars over oil we've been watching unfold. Wars over water. We have people saying to us we can't do it. We don't have the vote to do it, to stop the carbon. And what you're describing is politically impossible. And I'm like, no. What you're describing is absolutely untenable because it's the end of life on planet Earth as we know it. That's what the scientists are telling us. Those are the facts. My dad did his life work in social justice. Dealing with really, really heavy issues like rape as a weapon of war. People would ask him how he coped. And he always used to say, well, at least I'm not working with environmental issues. Now that would be really depressing. Why are you dressed as a polar bear? It's the only way they'd let me speak. Quiet, please. Going live in five, four, three. Welcome back to Anthropocene. You're joining the debate. Is human-caused climate change real? If you're still believing it's science deceiving you Locate that thought in your head and work backwards From each past all unpeer-reviewed article Fat boy leaf footprints lead back to the source Yes, that soothingly sceptical column That showed up in the Daily Mail Was based on a book with a science look written Researched, hypothesized by someone unqualified I financed by men in suits from the Heartland Institute Who in turn are funded by Guess Oil If you follow the trail A flat oily footprint Well thanks for the fairing I promise I'm hearing you though Did you know this in winter it snowed? at all. Yes, there may be a tiny consensus between one or two science fields. A few climatologists and meteorologists, agronomists, glaciologists, geophysicists, marine biologists, hydrologists, limnologists, volcanologists, soil scientists, ecologists, herpetologists, geographers, Oceanographers, statisticians, natural historians, paleontologists, epidemiologists, atmospheric physicists, conservation biologists, ornithologists, mammalogists, veterinary biologists, ethologists, social scientists, evolutionary biologists, geologists, atmospheric 
atmospheric chemists, environmental scientists, botanists, mathematical modelers. And now... These so-called experts and their so-called research So-called scientists, so-called supplying this so-called cohesive, conclusive data Over decades of peer-reviewed papers And thousands of qualified minds Look, I'm not a climatologist, or a meteorologist, or an agronomist, or a glaciologist, or a geophysicist, or a biologist, or a hydrologist, or a limnologist, or a volcanologist, or a soil scientist, or an ecologist, or a herpetologist, or a geographer, or an oceanographer, or a statistician, or a natural historian, or a paleontologist. Or an epidemiologist, or an atmospheric physicist, or a conservation biologist, or an ornithologist, or a mammalogist, or a veterinary biologist, or an ethologist, or a social scientist, or an evolutionary biologist, or a geologist, or an atmospheric chemist, or an environmental scientist, or a botanist, or a mathematical modeler. Each body of science, each scholar of hard sense Exploring the length, depth and breadth of existence Each school of research in every country Each scientist individually and collectively Forgot to consider What? What was forgotten in the international 97% scientific consensus? The fact that in the Middle Ages There was a theory Something about volcanoes or something oh, Don't forget her Methane and cows Methane and Listen to this, hard to dismiss 